Hey guys, I'm up here. Today we're checking out the MB 10,000 Gen 3 battery bank from Nightcore. Inside the box you get the battery itself, a USB-C to USB-A charging cable, user's guide, and a warranty card. So let's turn this thing on and see what it can do. Just like all the batteries from the MB 10,000 series, this thing is tiny. Look how small that is next to my phone. On this side it says Nightcore, on this side it says Energy Brick and MB10000. On the side here it gives you all of the wattage for your inputs and outputs. It has two USB-C ports, some LED lights, there's four of them, and a power button. This battery has a max input of 18 watts and a max output of 22.5 watts. It has an IPX5 waterproof rating and only weighs 150 grams or 5.29 ounces. When it's charging, one of the four indicator lights will flash to let you know how full it is. And when it's done charging, all four lights will be on or it will turn itself off. This is the Generation 2 battery. And it is just, I mean, a fraction smaller if you look at the stats but just looking at it i can't really tell the gen 2 has a usb a and a usb c the gen 3 only has usb c's and the led lights are just a hair bigger than the gen 2. you're also going to notice that this has rubber corners on the gen 3 and the gen 2 is still kind of hard I don't know how much protection or cushioning that's going to give you, but it does give it kind of a bounce instead of just being hard. Both ports on the Gen 3 will do input or output, while the Gen 2 will both do output, but only input on the USB-C. Since not everything is USB-C yet, you still need to have a USB-A adapter for this. So they gave it to you right here. You can just plug that into either port. And now you have the same USB-A and USB-C's if you want. There are two features that I really like about the MB series. One is the size. These things are tiny. Two is the ability to pass through power from the wall to the battery and then to your device. So the battery can always stay charged. Let's take a wall adapter and we're going to plug it into the Gen 2. Then we're going to take a USB-A cable and plug it into that. Plug this into here and then plug a USB-C into my phone and you can see that it is charging. If you watch my video of the Gen 2, you know I keep this thing in a cubby inside my vehicle. And I always have a power cable plugged into it, so it's always charged. And then I charge my devices off of another cable that I run off of it and into, say, my phone. If I'm going to be away from a power source for a long time during the day, I can pull this battery out and know that it's fully charged. A few weeks ago, when the wife was sleeping, the power went out. A few hours later, she woke up and then noticed that her battery wasn't fully charged. If we had this plugged into the wall and then the phone plugged into it, whether the power was on or off, the battery would still be charging the phone. Then when the power comes back on, it would start charging the battery back up. Some of you have seen this mobile internet setup that I have with a phone with unlimited Wi-Fi hotspot, RavPow router, and a couple batteries that I use to keep everything powered. I can either plug it into a solar panel here or into the wall with one of these. These batteries are so small that I can add them to this kit, plug everything into those, and have the pass-through charging go from the wire here to that battery, to that battery, to this battery, and split out to those which also charged the phone. This whole setup is charged by one cord. And now I can double the power that it's getting and keep it all in one small case. Well, that's all I have for this video. Bang around that bell icon if you want to be notified when new videos come out. 
Call us on the hotline if you have comments or questions and want to be featured in an upcoming video. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, check us out on the website, and we'll see you guys on the next one.